Hi, Jim Duncan with Nest Realty and RealCentralVA.com and also happen to write Real Crows AVA. Uh, thanks for clicking through. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on the uh, Gray Rock neighborhood with respect to the real estate market and sort of look at it in context as well. Um, Gray Rock weathered the real estate storm pretty darn well in 2011. Uh, there was only one short sale in the, in the MLS and no foreclosures, which is kind of remarkable. Uh, right now, and it's February 10th, uh, there are uh, four houses on the market, two are under contract, and six sold in 2011 through the MLS. I, I suspect there's going to be a lot more homes coming on the market in Gray Rock, and, and frankly, that's one of the reasons for this video. I'd, I'd like to talk to you about that. Uh, the market is tied you know, pretty much to the, to the school year, uh, to that school calendar is pretty much determines when people put their homes on the market. Uh, but quickly, I want to tell you also, make sure you check out the Albemarle County assessments. Uh, the good news is that a lot of people are going to be paying less in taxes, you know, marginally less, but less nonetheless. Uh, but it's also something that the assessments are something that buyers look at. I don't think they're a true measure of market value, but it's something that buyers look to as a fairly independent valuation. Uh, and right or wrong, they do use that when they're making their calculations. Um, so check out the county assessments. If you have questions, please call or email me anytime. Uh, but of the five that are, uh, of the ones that are the four on the market right now, the days on market range from a few days uh, to over a year. Asking prices are 319 to about 360. Uh, you can see all the homes uh, for sale in Gray Rock on my site, realcentralva.com, um, and you can look at the search for MLS tool. But let's quickly look at last year. Uh, the ones that sold, the uh, short sale started at 349. Uh, the last list price was 284, and it sold for 280. Uh, so, you know, on short sales, uh, you can get a pretty darn good deal, which is good for buyers, not so good for sellers, obviously. Uh, the one on Jarman Lake started at 319, sold in 37 days uh, for 305. And that's, you know, 319 to 305 is pretty darn good in this market, uh, and it's an indication that they priced it right. Uh, the one on Great Rock Drive started at 359, sold in 18 days for 347. Uh, again, in this market, it, most often, and this has been true for the 10 years I've been doing this, the first offer is generally going to be the, be the best offer. So it's one that I advise my clients to, to negotiate as strongly as they possibly can when, when we're selling homes. Uh, another one on Gray Rock Drive sold in 247 days uh, for 330k uh, and started at about 389. So again, started at 389, sold for 330 in 247 days. You know, price it right from day one. And looking at Gray Rock North, the one on Stamen sold in 246 days for 337 after an initial list price of 409. Uh, one on Lane Town sold in about 100 days for 377 after starting at 450. Uh, again, you got to price it right from day one, and that's that's one of the, the most compelling lessons uh, to be learned. You know, when when I'm meeting with my clients, my sellers, we discuss pricing, and pricing is crucial in this market. We're seeing a lot of buyer activity right now. You know, there are a lot of buyers out there who are finally decided to, to buy homes, but they are also very knowledgeable and savvy and aware buyers, and a lot of them don't have time frames. So they're looking at the market, they're evaluating the market, and they're saying, you know, if this house is priced right, I'll make an offer on it, but if not, I'll wait for that 147 days and then go in really low. Um, preparing to sell and marketing a home is not easy. Uh, I, I tell all of my sellers from the beginning uh, that, frankly, getting your house on the market stinks. It's not fun. It's a lot of work, but uh, frankly, with, with uh, the sellers with whom I work, the guidance and the advice that I give, and the ones that really pay attention and listen and work hard, I mean, it's, it's a time, it's a time intensive process. Takes a lot of work. You know, once we get it ready to go, then we're in a pretty darn good position, uh, especially if we can price it right from day one. Um, I, got, I track the Gray Rock market, Crozet, Charlotte Abbott market on a, on a daily basis. I write about it. Um, you know, at least three or four times a week on realcentralva.com. And I think that Gray Rock is really well positioned to take advantage of what's happening in Crozet, both downtown Crozet and the Old Trail Village. Uh, in fact, you know, I've heard from buyers who are more interested in Gray Rock because of the access to sidewalks, which is going to make a, you know, an easy walk or bike ride down to downtown Crozet or an easy walk or bike ride to, to the Old Trail Village Center. It's something that is very, very compelling for buyers right now is the accessibility. Uh, so again, you know, the point of this is, you know, bluntly, if you if you think about putting your house in the market, I'd you know, I'd, I'd appreciate the opportunity to, to meet with or talk to you. But really, you know, stay informed, stay aware of what's happening in the market. You can you know, read about it at realcentralva.com. Uh, sign up for updates to the Gray Rock neighborhood, see when homes come on the market and, and go under contract. Uh, but really, if you have any questions about the market, Gray Rock, Charlotte, Rodmore, anything, 
uh, give me a call or an email anytime. My name is Jim Duncan with Nest Realty, 434-242-7140, realcentralva.com and realcrozetva.com. Thanks much.